If you do this, this will destroy you. Literally destroy you. What is up my winning friend? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to share with you how to overcome learn helplessness. And we are getting started right now. I'm a very, very ambitious person, but there's been times in my life where I just felt helpless. All right. I was going through certain things that just, I didn't really see any light at the end of the tunnel. One of those times, uh, I had just gotten out of prison after doing four years flat. I turned my life around um, and I got a job at a bar and grill as a cook. And then I got a job at a clothing store and I got promoted right away. So I put in my two weeks at the bar and grill where I had some stability in my life. And then a couple days after getting promoted at the clothing store, they fired me from being a convicted felon. And man, that, that messed with me at the time. You know, I'm like, I'm never going to be able to put behind my past. I'm never going to be able to live a, a happy life, a successful life. I'm never going to be able to get a good job. I'm never going to be able to do any of this. Those were the thoughts that were going through my head. And uh, it wasn't until I was able to do what I'm about to share with you now that I was able to turn that around, overcome that learned helplessness, and be happy and a successful entrepreneur. Now before we dive into these tips, if you want a tool that's really going to empower you to crush your goals and dominate life, make sure you head on over and download my free Goal Getter Cheat Sheet and you can do that right here. How we deal with adversity and challenges will shape our lives more than just about anything else. Like literally how we decide to deal with the challenges that we face. Do we give up? Do we cave in? Do we keep going? Do we persist? Do we move forward? Do we fall and fold that very decision will shape your life more, almost more than anything else that you experience in your entire life learned helplessness is when people experience enough failure at something that they believe that nothing they do will make things better and this is something that we must never indulge in this strips us of our personal power and destroys our ability to act. Now there's a thing called permanence, which is it's a form of learned helplessness. Permanence is where you think that a problem is permanent. No problem is permanent. You must always believe that this too shall pass. Once you believe that there's nothing you can do to make things any better, that will literally destroy your life until you get rid of that feeling, until you get rid of that belief. Another symptom in learned helplessness is pervasiveness. That's where you believe that one problem destroys your entire life. See, uh, but not no, there's no one single problem that destroys everything in your life. Like, you might lose a loved one, uh, and that's tough. I'm not saying it sucks and it, and it doesn't hurt, but that doesn't destroy everything in your life. Yet, how many people have a problem where they get fired from a job or something happens and they act like it's the end of the world. Now can you imagine what, how much of a problem, how much of a negative impact pervasiveness plus permanence together would be? That, that would be some scary stuff to think that you can never, that the problem is permanent and it ruins your entire life. That's some pretty, pretty horrible stuff. A lot of people believe this and this learned helplessness and it destroys their life and the solution to both is to see something in your life that you can take control of and to begin working towards bettering that one area of your life and this will begin to destroy other limiting beliefs in your life another symptom of learned helplessness is where we see the problem as personal where or we are the problem so you can't we, we can't see the problem as ourselves we have to we have to look look at failure as a way to change our approach to that problem instead of looking at it as a personality defect. When looking at it as a personality defect, we then get overwhelmed because then we feel like we have to change our entire lives, our in our in our entire being, in order to overcome this problem. And it's a lot more difficult to change our entire life than it is just to change our approach to a problem. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos that are going to help you crush your goals and dominate life, make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you know anybody that could, uh, you know, they might be struggling with their destiny, with uh, they might be making poor decisions, they might uh, are, are struggling with something in their lives right now, or you just know somebody that's really passionate about 
personal development, self-help, please share this video with them and share it on social media. Share it on Facebook, your favorite social media website. Let's get this word out to more people and reach more people with it. You never know what the right message for the right person at the right time can do. And that's what we're all about right here. And I appreciate you, my friend. And as always, if you want to crush your goals and dominate life, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, my winning friend. I will see you next time.